Hi, everyone. To those of you who are in our booth, welcome to the Black Collegians of Hi, everyone. To those of you who are in our booth, welcome to the um, Collegians of I'm so excited Hi, to, to those of you who are or virtually see booth, you all. To, uh, I hear an echo. So excited to those of you who are or virtually see you Maybe you guys so excited to you Maybe that's the issue right now. So those of you who are, you know, we're using a new system. So we are learning it and trying it out just like everybody else. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm Sherry Bradford. I'm the program leader for the Black Collegians of Moja community. So welcome today. And you're going to hear from my colleagues in a little bit. There's Jocelyn Nguyen, if she could just wave, Dr. Tiffany Dowd, and Mr. Chris Backus. So you will hear from them in just a little bit. Um, and Mr. Backus is working our slideshow today. So once he can share his screen, then we will also go ahead and get started as well. Let me just say this. If you're hearing an echo, log out and log back in. And that cleared it up for me. OK, thank you, Chris. I will be muting myself now also. OK. So we, um, the Black Allegiance Program, we just finished celebrating our 30th anniversary. So we are so excited about that. Um, we are um, one of the longest standing programs in the state. It is no easy feat to be around for this long. So it's exciting that we could do that. Um, Chris, you can go ahead to the next slide. We honor you and honor ourselves and our Black heritage through family and academic excellence. So you'll hear a lot about us talking about family and how we consider ourselves a family, our students consider ourselves family. And this was a shot from one of our one of our activities that we were able to have a year ago is our welcome activity for our students in the program. So we just have to welcome you virtually and give you a hug virtually and honor the day when we can be back on ground together. Okay, next slide. If you are using the chat, um, that will be where you can ask some questions and we're going to try and see if we can address those at the end of the session. So um, definitely go ahead and utilize the chat for those questions um, at the end if you feel like we have not answered something for you, okay? So as I said, we celebrated our 30th anniversary um, last year. We are one of the oldest African-centered programs in the state. Um, our program has been recognized and awarded for the service that we have provided for students for so many years. And we started, or the program started in the fall of 1989 with one counselor and six students. And now we are, as of this morning, at 545 students. And hopefully those of you who are in this uh, workshop today will be joining us and uh, we will be increasing those numbers. At our high point, we have over 600 students in the program. And as I said earlier, the program is all about family. That is the atmosphere that we create. We um, are here to support um, all of the people that you see in this uh, presentation are your mamas, your aunties, your uncles, your cousins. We are here to provide that love and support for you. Next. I want to introduce who we have um, as part of our family who is here to support you. Yeah, go ahead, Chris. Thank you. So first, I'm just going to introduce who I am. So I am the mother of two sons. I know that the screen is small to see, hard to see, but that one in the middle who was graduating from uh, middle school uh, in June is today is his birthday. He's turning 14 in quarantine land, but that's my two sons, um, my husband, who I have been married to for almost 20 years this coming October. Um, so that's our little family. And I went to Westchester High School. And actually, uh, Mr. Backus and I went to Westchester High School together. I went to UCLA from Westchester, studied psychology, 
and then went to Cal State LA for my master's program in counseling. So I have been at SMC for 23 years. It's been a long time, but it's been amazing. And I turned the big 5-0 in quarantine land in uh, April. So all the gray hair, you may not be able to see it too well, but it's, it's here. Um, I put in there that I am an introvert, which is very true. Um, it's funny because uh, some of us <laughs> in this room, we are introverts, but that does not mean that we don't like to be social and um, love on all of you. It just means this is who we are. And I want you to see that even though we may be introverts, that we are still outgoing and we reach out and we do and go above and beyond to make sure that we provide the best service for you. Um, I am also a political junkie. I am all into um, politics right now. And I'll just leave it at that. Uh, <laughs> make sure you go out to vote if you are eligible. That's all I will say. Um, I love 90s R&B. Um, I love reading about natural hair care products because since we've been in quarantine land, I have transitioned to natural hair. Um, so I have a whole bunch of products. It's like a disease now. Like I just can't stop like buying different things. So I love natural hair care products and I love watching YouTube videos about it as well. And um, I am reading like four books all at once and it's just like crazy. And I have all of my little books um, bookmarked um, with notes on them. So I am loving what I'm reading, um, especially during this time as it relates to our Black folks in America. So that's who I am. Next slide. So our lovely professionals, you'll hear from Jocelyn um, in a little bit, but Jocelyn Wynn is our student services specialist. And she's been with us for our over a a little over a year. She started with us uh, last June, but she's been with the, the college for 10 years now. Um, and we are just thrilled that she is with us and super supportive. Edwin Cruz, who is our math instructional assistant, is phenomenal. So those of you who are taking math, um, he is the person that you are going to want to be with in Zoom every day. So I just wanted you to be able to see their faces. Then next, we have two mental health therapists that work within our program, um, providing 36 hours each week of appointments for you. And particularly during this time when we are in um, dealing with COVID, being physically distant, it has been a challenge for many of our students. It's been a challenge for us. And so it is critical that you know that we have people there here who can support you through this process. So Ms. Thea Winkler is newest to our program and just started in June and students love her. She's phenomenal. I'm going to talk about a couple of the things that she's going to, that she has been doing and that she's going to start this fall. And Dr. Maria Reynoso has been with us since December of 2015. Um, so she's a longstanding member of our family and works for both us and the Latino Center. Next. So our academic counselors, as you can see, Dr. Tiffany Dow. Dr. Dowd has been with our program for many years. She and Mr. Backus have been with us for many years, and they are the two full-time um, counseling faculty that work with our both Dr. Dow works uh, primarily for Black Allegiance and has some other special projects. Mr. Backus works for both Black Allegiance and the Adelante program. Mrs. Turner and Mr. Silvers. Mrs. Turner has been at SMC with Black Collegians as long as I have. So we have grown, literally grown up together. And Mr. Silvers has been with us since 99. Next slide. Mrs. Destiny Johnson is our career counselor. So for those of you who may be questioning what major or career you should pursue, um, if you have questions about jobs, she is the person to see. So she is available for our telephone appointments on Tuesdays and Thursdays, specifically for our program. And then our other three counselors, Ms. Linda Davis, who had been a longstanding member of the Santa Monica College uh, community as a staff member, is now recently hired with us as a counseling faculty. And then Dr. Portia Boyd and Mrs. Rhea Petrie, 
um, have been longstanding members of the counseling department. They are actually joining us this semester to, to round out our counseling faculty. Next. So now I'm gonna turn it over to Dr. Dow to tell you a little bit about herself and some of the projects she's been working on. Hello everyone, welcome to Black Division. We are so happy and so excited to have you all here with us and to welcome you to our family, our community. Um, just to tell you a little bit about myself, I'm originally from Rancho Cucamonga, California, and I have three amazing brothers and two vibrant and thriving nieces that I love dearly. And um, I, I really have a passion for things that really make me happy, make me laugh, um, really provide joy um, and support in my life. And so one of the number one things that I really enjoy and love is the performing arts. I love music, live music. I love dance and the art of dance. I love the, the theater. Um, and going to plays. Of course, right now I can't really do that, but I love the performing arts. There's definitely something that nurtures and fills my soul with that. Um, also my village, my support system, my inner circle, um, my family as I shared, um, my friends, my work family. We were just talking about that. Sherry was just sharing that we are our family and we definitely are. We will um, feel that and see that um, when you're around us and when you're in our community. And then, of course, my passion is my students. Um, I continued on throughout my education and got an advanced um, education degrees because I'm very passionate about student advocacy and making sure that students have everything that they need. And I, that comes from a place of being um, a student myself, being a lifelong learner, um, going through my struggles and my challenges as a Black woman um, in higher education and in various schoolings and wanting to provide support and accommodations for our most vulnerable students. And so I consider myself an advocate and supporter for student success, which leads me to my projects. My, I call my passion projects as well. Um, one of them is really related to centering black and brown students. And so for me, it's very important that I'm able to assess and find out what is going on with our students. So I do a lot of research um, and identifying specific needs of our black and brown students. And then I have the um, blessing of being able to create initiatives and projects and accommodations for our black and brown students that specifically um, accommodate and support helping you all achieve your educational goals. Um, another a uh, big piece of um, what we call equity and really supporting our students, specifically supporting black and brown students, is a project that is called Math Therapy. Um, math Therapy was developed with the idea of getting to the root of the negative connotations around math. And all of us have experienced that. I've experienced that, many of us have experienced that. So what we've done is we've coupled mindfulness math strategies and community-based tutoring to support our students, but most importantly, to really help students begin to reframe their thoughts and their perceptions and their feelings around math and really begin to think of it as uh, a challenge, but a challenge that's supported and accommodated and coupled with community, support, community and support. Um, so that's definitely a, a project that I'm continuing to build. And I built, I built that along with Edwin Cruz, who's our math specialist as well. Um, and one of my mo most current uh, projects is called Direct Connect. And again, centering students. So this particular project focuses on helping you all stay connected while we're here um, in our distance education experience. So it really focuses on helping students directly connect with essential services on campus. When I say essential, I mean services that we know you need to know about, that you need to connect to so that you are successful while you're here at Santa Monica. We want you to make sure that your time, your effort and energy is, 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 is preserved, right? And that you're utilizing your time and effort on things that are essential and important for your success academically, socially, financially, and professionally. 
And so we've, we, we've created an online um, program that helps you make those connections and build those relationships that are very important and needed. All right, well, again, welcome all of you. I look forward to meeting with you and, and having some one-on-one -on -one sessions this semester. Please feel free to reach out to me um, and welcome. Thank you, Dr. Dowd. Mr. Backus? Yes, can you guys hear me okay? Yes. Okay. My name is Mr. Backus, and I'd like to welcome you all digitally to, to SMC and specifically to Black Collegians, the Emoja community. Emoja means unity. And so we're here to unify you into a process and a program and a, a, a variety of people. As you can see, we're here to help you in your process of success. That's how I've basically gotten to everything that I've wanted to accomplish in life. Um, I graduated from uh, Westchester High School, went to USC as a business major, entrepreneurship, uh, went to Cal State Dominguez as a uh, master's in educational counseling student. Um, and I was a counselor for K through 12. I was a teacher at K through 12, a substitute teacher K through 12. I've taught in every single grade there is uh, from college, from kindergarten all the way to college now. Um, I've had the experience of, you know, obviously going to the public schools and private schools as a student. Uh, the predominantly white institutions, you know, uh, unfortunately, we all have experience with that. So, you know, we, we, we understand what it is to be a student at some of these institutions that don't see us, especially, you know, what we're going through right now, who don't see us as, as having value. And so it's an interesting time because these conversations that we've been having over the last 25 years, hopefully we can move them from conversation to action. Um, as far as my background goes outside of education, uh, I love golf. I'm a golf enthusiast. I'm a sports enthusiast. I uh, played football, won a city championship at Westchester, track championship at Westchester. Also, uh, you know, have, have transitioned to, you know, I was a coach at one time, football and basketball. Uh, but I love golf now, and I'm a golfer for the last 20-something years. And uh, interesting, interesting game that I've been involved in. I used to teach it also for a while. And um, so that's one of the passions that I have. And one of the other passions I picked back up in this uh, quarantine situation is my DJ skills. So I'm working on my DJ skills. I have my turntables, my digital turntables. I was practicing last night. Uh, so I've picked that back up and, and have been enjoying that. Those hour sessions really helped me detox from the stress of the days and the stress of, of our social justice movement that we're moving into. And so you know, that's one thing I'm going to encourage you all to do as you guys listen to the resources that you have here is start developing things, especially in this environment that can kind of take your mind into different places. And so we want to encourage you to look at your skills and talents, as you heard from from the other colleagues on here and figuring out a way to kind of even in the environment that you are in to to lessen the impact of being in, in one place for a large amount of time. Um, the special projects that I work on at SMC, I've been at SMC, I think, 11 or 12 years, I think it is, coming up 12th academic year. Um, I've taught, you know, counseling uh, 20, counseling 16, which is for career um, uh, career expansion and counseling 12 also, which is for career expansion and exploration. Uh, and that's kind of where I've, I've kind of drawn my passion in bringing experiences to the Black Collegians program outside of the classroom. So experiential learning is basically learning from others uh, and, and from experiences, not only your experiences, but experience of others. So that has to do a lot with mentoring. That has a lot to do with creating relationships with not only people, but associations like professional associations that house your your particular that are in your particular industry. Uh, so our goal is to put you in the face of people who can help change the narrative of your experience in whatever uh, educational and, and career pursuit that you had. And one of the things we try to do now is really start front loading those conversations in our counseling sessions about, you know, the destination is not the transfer school. The destination is your career choice and the career industry. But to that, we do need to find colleges that actually align with your destination. So our goal is to put as many different colleges and many different college experiences in front of you. And so we have done traditionally field trips to a lot of colleges and universities over the Southern California. Our goal there again is to expose you to the people that we want to transfer, that we want to create the relationship with at those transfer schools. 
And you'll hear me say this word a lot. Of, uh, a lot of what we're talking about is networking and relationships. The, the, the advantage of you coming into a black collegiate, Ms. Ms. Bradford already mentioned, we're 30 years in this game. So we have a lot of vested interest in a lot of these schools. People understand the work that we use, that we help you uh, go through and working on yourself and getting yourself prepared for the next level. And they value that. And so, you know, having that relationship to speak for you as a part of Black Collegiance, now we can usher you into some other relationships at the university level. We also try to do that with industry relationships. We visited places like AT&T, Activision, um, you know, uh, uh, HBO, uh, uh, um, uh, Lionsgate. And so we, we, we're really developing programs now with uh, other industry opportunities, with USC, with the intelligence community, with um, um, uh, the Chamber of Commerce, Santa Monica Chamber of Commerce, which has over 140 companies that want to be involved in mentoring you. And so we're creating these pockets of relationships that you all can start taking advantage of and building out your community outside of SMC2. And people don't realize how important that is in every aspect of your, your walk is that you've got to start communicating with others and letting them know what you want to accomplish. And we're there to help you uh, create that narrative and put you in front of people who can advocate for you as you advocate for yourself. I'm going to enjoy talking to you all. Don't use this time as, an, a, as a way to disconnect. It's easier now to connect uh, with us you know, via the phone and via Zoom where you don't have to travel to campus for two hours and get on that bus or train. So let's use this to our advantage to really create more lasting relationships, even through this pandemic and this time that we're away from each other. That's all I have to say. And thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Backus. Next is Ms. Jocelyn. Everybody, I am Jocelyn Wynn and I am the student services specialist for the Black Collegians program. Um, and so what I do is basically I'd be the first person you contact if you have any questions about Black Collegians specifically or about the um, SMC campus at large. So I'm more of your, um, let's see, your, your guide through SMC. So if there's any questions that you have, please feel free to email me. Um, you can also email our general email address, which is black underscore collegians at smc.edu. Um, making your initial first appointments with the, the counselors that you see here and all of our other counselors are done via email through the black underscore collegians at smc.edu um, uh, address. Um, also, I'm the person that does uh, host all the orientations. So your next step in uh, joining the program is um, it's gonna be filling out the application and also attending our orientation. One of the really special projects that um, I just took on and I'll be taking on this fall semester is coordinating the Women of Color Mentorship Program, um, which I think is really important for a lot of the students who are just starting at SMC all the way up into those who are planning to transfer soon. Um, mentorship is something that we value greatly and uh, at SMC and also within the Black Collegians Program. Um, in that particular program, if you're interested in it, I will be sending out emails um, to all people who are members of our programs in the fall semester. Um, you'll be matched up with a either faculty member or a staff member who works at SMC. And um, based on what your needs are and what your goals and aspirations are for that particular semester, you're going to be working with them to kind of, uh, oh, you know, meet those goals and aspirations that you have for the semester. So it's about encouraging you. It's about um, making you understand that you belong at SMC, that you belong in the career you want to go into, that you belong in anything that you um, put your mind to. And so it's about just really encouraging all of you. If you are new at SMC, which most of you here on uh, Welcome Day are brand new at SMC, um, you know, let me assist you in uh, moving forward and really making your academic goals and uh, aspirations a reality. Um, at the end of the orient of this particular um, uh, 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 presentation, I will show you how to find our application um, and then actually how to complete the application for our particular program. But um, like I said, reach out to me if there's questions you have specifically about SMC and about all the services that we offer here through the Black Collegians program. Thank 
you, Jocelyn. So next, we're going to talk a little bit about um, student leadership, which is a big component of our program, and it's something that I hope that you will consider consider doing as well. The picture, too, that you see um, is from one of our banquets that the students put on each year, um, and so that was uh, a year ago. And those were the officers at that time. Moving forward um, in the fall semester, our president, you will meet Salima Muwakil. We have three directors of activities, Michael, Angelia, and Marianne. Our director of publicity who will be handling our IG account is Alexis Green. And we are still in need of a position filled, um, someone who may be engaging, who um, is also our representative for uh, our leadership and our program through associated students. So if you are joining Black Allegiance, you're going to find out more about that. And so you could be a brand new officer with us for the fall semester. Next. This is just a picture of Ms. Salima. So today at four o'clock, um, she is going to be facilitating a session just like this, but talking specifically about the club. So I hope that you have a chance to join in and you'll meet Salima as well as Angelia. She, Salima is one of the most amazing people that I've ever met in my life. Um, she is extremely resourceful. She will tell you her story. She is so student-centered and willing and wanting to help everybody out. So I hope that you can join us today at four o'clock as well. Next. So what is it that Black Allegiance offers? So we offer a, a wide array of services for you um, in order to make sure that we give you space to be as successful as we know that you can be. But everybody in this life needs help and support to get there. All of us on this call have done the same thing and have had people to help us. And that's why we're passionate about giving that back to you. So the crux of what we do, the counseling component, which we showed you all of our counselors, we offer counseling Monday through Friday to help you get acclimated to the courses that you need to policies and procedures about SMC. Maybe you're dealing with a difficult situation in a class or with someone else and you need to have a conversation with us. That's what we offer for you. Um, I mentioned about our therapy with our two therapists that we provide for you. We have workshops and we will continue to have workshops even in a remote environment. We have an array of different things that we have coming up for you in the fall via Zoom. And the workshops, one of the things that's consistent month to month, something called brother to brother and sister to sister. And that's where we can have those kinds of conversations related to we face as African Americans in this society. Um, those have been some of the most uh, engage rewarding kinds of workshops and conversations that I have seen during my time at SMC. We also offer information about transferring during those workshops as well. I mentioned about tutoring with Matt, uh, with Edwin Cruz. So those that's offered Monday through Friday as well for math subjects. We have classes that students can take as part of the Black Collegians program so that they are blocked off so that you can enroll in them first with some of the best instructors that we have. And then where appropriate, it will have an African uh, American focus to the coursework. So that's another plus about being in these classes. Um, Mr. Back has talked about field trips. So when we're back on ground, um, we can offer those back to you where we're visiting some of the different universities that are local or some of the different cultural locations related to African Americans that we can visit. We talked about leadership opportunities with the club. Um, the other plus is book vouchers for fall and spring. You all know textbooks are expensive. And so we have been blessed with some funding from the foundation to be able to offer book vouchers to our students who are enrolled in the program. Scholarships are also something that's huge. We have uh, a pot of money to be able to offer to students in Black Collegians. Um, more information will come out about that in the fall semester. And I cannot stress it enough. 
that we need you to apply. We do not have nearly enough of our students applying for scholarships and it's a very easy process and it puts you in the running for not just Black Collegian scholarships, but all other scholarships through SMC that you could qualify for. And the last thing I will say is support, support, support is the word that you will constantly hear from us is that this is what we're here to provide for you. I never want you to go away feeling like you don't have a, a, a question that you might have answered. This is what we're here for. So please make sure to avail yourself of everything that we offer. To be on the lookout oh, oh, for, <laughs> if you can go back. Uh, oh, that's okay, I'm sorry, Chris, you're right. Fall activities. Um, these are some of the things that I mentioned about what we're doing for the semester. Math therapy, Dr. Dow talked about which is a weekly workshop for those of you who are enrolled in math. I talked about sister to sister and brother to brother. Um, the Black Galante Healing Circle. So our therapist, Thea Winkler, has started this, this summer for Black Legions and Adelante students, where it's a weekly session where she is talking on topics that are about self-empowerment and how we can make sure that we are taking care of ourselves. That is weekly and that will continue in the fall. She's also going to start something on Mondays called Intention Setting Mondays so that every Monday you are in a space with her where you are setting your intentions for the week. It is nothing like making sure that you verbalize and visualize what are the things that you need to accomplish, accomplish each week? So she is going to be starting those on Mondays. Club meetings, the club will be offering weekly meetings. So be on the lookout for that information as well. Other workshops that we'll have. We also do something called Canvas Chats where on Thursdays we just, I go into our Canvas homeroom and we just, we chat, we talk. It's a way for us to connect just to see how things are going. And a brand new thing that we're starting this semester, um, the owner of Chick-fil-A on Lincoln near Washington reached out to us because she wants to give back and make sure that she is sharing her knowledge of what it takes to be a business owner and a leader. Um, and so she is actually going to be doing a series of workshops with us. She is phenomenal. Um, I'm really excited about this collaboration with it. So things that we want to make sure that you know about, I talked about the scholarship, scholarship information that will be coming out this fall. You will be able to apply for scholarships. Those will be awarded in spring of 2021. So make sure to be on the lookout for that. As a member of Black Legions, you get priority enrollment. So your enrollment, um, should you choose to join with us, will be day two enrollment for winter and spring. That is huge so that you can get access to the classes that you want. And again, I wanna remind students about our Black Legions classes that will be available for spring. Those will be in the schedule of classes. And so you will easily be able to see um, what those classes are. Oh, can you see me? Uh, I was told my video is gone. Are you able to see me? No. Are you able to see me now? You still can't see me. I don't know what's going on. You can hear me though, yeah. I'm sorry you can't see me, so I don't know what's going on, but it shows that it's not disabled, but I don't get it. So anyway, I'll just keep talking. <laughs> um, just information regarding the remote status, we don't know for sure yet, but be on the lookout if we're going to be on ground or remote for winter, spring. Um, and when you meet with your counselor, we want you to know that that could be very well a possibility that we are remote. So planning classes in the remote environment is uh, important and crucial. So, you know, it may differ. So we want to make sure that you connect with your counselor about that. And then we get a lot of different opportunities via external, sometimes internal uh, opportunities that we always send out via email. So we want to make sure that you pay attention to that. Next. And these are the things that we expect from you. Attending the Zoom workshops when you can. Um, part of our staying in our program is that you do two, at least two counseling and attend three activities. So that's going to be crucial that you do those. Reach out when you need help. I talked about that before. I think that's so important to not 
have a question unanswered. Seek academic counseling, make sure to seek tutoring. Um, follow us on Instagram. Now I know, I saw in the chat that many of you have put your handles because you want folks to follow you back. I ain't mad at you for that. We also want you to stay connected with us on Instagram. So that is our Instagram handle that you'll see there. And then read, 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 read your email. Okay, next. So what to be officially in our family? Today is your first step. This is like your orientation of what we would have offered to students. And we'll have several other orientations you have friends that may want to join, we offer orientations via Zoom that, Je uh, that Jocelyn will be doing. And then completing the application through Coursera Connect and meeting with one of our counselors. So I know we only have a few minutes left. We won't cut off. If you want to stay in for just a little bit, if we get to 1245, we can do that. But I want to go next to the um, next slide. Jocelyn is going to try and give a little bit of instruction of what it looks like to do the application via Coursera Connect. So you can see that. I think you're muted, Joss. Yes, I was, I'm sorry. Um, so um, to find our application, you are gonna go on to SMC's website and then log into Coursera Connect. Um, let me share um, what Coursera Connect is going to look like. Let's see. And as you can see, this is Coursera Connect. Our application is located here on the left side of the screen um, under Black Collegians Program Application. You'll click there. And then that will take you into our application. So you'll launch our application here. Um, just make sure that the um, e the uh, phone number that you have here is the phone number that you would like our counselors to give you a call on. Very important that this number is correct because all of our appointments um, during the remote um, period of time are always going to be over the phone. So make sure that phone number is correct. Also, um, be sure to use however your name actually shows up on your application is how SMC refers to you in our system. And so at the bottom of this application, when you sign the application, you must sign it up, just sign the application exactly as it shows here. Um, the application is pretty self-explanatory. You're going to go and let us know whether or not you're a first time freshman or you're a continuing student. Um, and just so you know, the application is only going to be viewed by Black Collegians um, academic counselors when they do your intake interview session, um, which is a 30 minute appointment that they'll have over the phone to determine whether or not you would be a great candidate for our program. You'll fill um, the application out based on what your personal answers are. It is important that we know whether or not you, um, your academic goal is to get an associate's degree and transfer because your counselor is going to want to um, reference the right articulation agreement um, to guide you through so we can get you through SMC as quickly as possible and onto the four year university of your choice. If you have gone to other colleges, so up here, if you've stated that you're a continuing student and this is you've gone to other colleges other than SMC, please list those colleges prior to SMC that you've um, attended. Because what we're going to need to know is whether or not you have transcripts that need to be brought over that we can see so that we can make sure we're not having you double take classes that you've already taken in the past. Majors wise, we have every single major you can think of, even the majors that you don't think of, which is unknown or undecided, which is a very common um, major at SMC. Most students are undecided and unknown, and you'll figure that out while you're here at SMC. So please fill um, out whatever um, uh, major you are right now, just so that we can make sure that we're advising you on the right classes. If you do not know what your major is yet, you can also write in this box that you're undecided. When you're, we're asking you your first three choices for four-year universities that you'd like to transfer to. In the dropdown, you'll notice that if you wanted to go to USC like Mr. Backus, um, you, your, that college is not gonna show up here. So what you can do is if that's your first choice and it's not here, you're only gonna see California colleges and UCs on this particular application. You can state that it's undecided for all of them if none of the colleges that, that you would like to transfer to are on here and you can type in whatever college you'd like to go to. So if you want to go to USC, if you want to go to um, Howard University, 
um, you can type that in as a um, HBCU. And if you want to go out of state to another school, um, maybe you want to go to Oregon State University, you can type that in there. We need to know this information just so that we make sure that we're guiding you and taking the right classes to transfer to the school of your choice. If you know what your career goal is, please go ahead and type it in there. And if it's undecided, you can also indicate that. Um, now, if you're participating in any other programs here at SMC, please let us know that. This would have to do with, um, you know, when we're receiving book vouchers for the spring semester, if you are in a part of two different programs and say you're part of Adelante program and Adelante program has already given you a book voucher, we cannot give double book vouchers. So we'd like to know if you're participating in other programs as well. Financial aid wise, we'd like to know that you, you're already taking care of your financial aid, um, uh, your, FAFSA, your FAFSA and that kind of thing. If you're having issues with that, please let us know so you can indicate that here as well, that you need help completing that FAFSA. And we also wanna know if you're already receiving the California Promise Grant. If you know, you can let us know. If you don't know, you can also let us know. One of the glitches in the, the program uh, application is whether or not you're employed. If you are employed, if you answer yes to this question, you're gonna make sure that you only can put something that's in a numeric value in this particular box. If I write in that I work five hours and that way, when I try to sign the application at the bottom and submit it, it will give me an error message. So only numbers can go inside this box. So if you work five hours a week, you'd say five. If you, want, if you work 15 hours a week, please indicate that as well. And the only reason why we wanna know about how many hours you're working is because we wanna make sure that we are advising you on the proper amount of um, unit load that you should take in the semester, making sure you have time to with your studies and that kind of thing. And the program eligibility questions are just us kind of getting to know um, what brought you to the Black Collegians program and how we can help. The first question is, are there any factors that you would like us to know that might impact your ability to do well in college? You can list all kinds of things there. If you have, um, if you've already been a student who's already been um, diagnosed with dyslexia, or maybe you're a single parent, or maybe you're food insecure, or you're housing insecure, we want to be able to connect you with the services that are going to help mitigate those particular issues. So please list whatever they are. No one else will see this application again, but your um, academic counselor. Um, and then we wanna know what you're hoping to get out of the Black Collegians program. Um, list why you were interested in our program specifically. There are students who are interested in our program thinking that this is a program that's just gonna enhance their, their transfer application or that kind of thing. Um, we wanna know that just in case our program may not be the right choice for you and we wanna be able to suggest the programs that might be best for you. Um, some uh, issues that students are having, some reasons for students are coming to our program are not necessarily um, what the program was designed to do. And so we want to make sure that you're understanding why you're signing up for this program so that we both get what we want out of this relationship. And then at the last question is, how do you think that you can contribute to the Black Allegiance program? And when I'm saying, how do you think you can contribute? All of us have talents and um, abilities that are naturally given to us and we're born with those things. You can use those talents to enhance our program. Over the 30 years, as you can say, see Mrs. Bradford stated that the program started with only one counselor many, many years ago. And over the years, the feedback that the students have given us, um, them staying connected with us has allowed us to be able to make this program into the supportive program that it is and the success that it is. At the very bottom of the application, you're just going to sign your name just as it appears in this box. You have to type it, even though it shows there, it is not signed yet until you've typed it in, and then you will submit it. When you submit the application, I will get a um, email stating that you have applied for the program, and then I will send you um, the links um, to the orientations. You will have to attend an orientation um, where I can give you more information about the program, and then we will set you up with your intake appointment with the counselor. Um, so I hope you understand how to find the application, and I hope that was really helpful to you. Thank you so much. And I know we're at the end of our workshop. Um, Mr. Backus, if you could just put the contact info slide up for me. This is just a, a way for you to be able to email us um, if you have questions. Uh, and while uh, Jocelyn was talking, I just want you to know that we have now reached 800 Instagram followers. They have followed us right away. Um, I have been uh, told by our social media specialists that this is where we are right now. So thank you to those of you who have already started to follow us. 
that is my information as well. Um, feel free to contact me at any point. Um, and the Black Allegiance email is listed there. I just want to say that I, um, I thank you for being in the space with us today. I'm giving you a virtual hug. I, we are all here to make sure that you are successful. And I cannot thank you enough for giving us your valuable time today. Thank you to my colleagues who I enjoy seeing, at least in this virtual environment. And we wish you well. Take care. Questions in the chat. Were they? I uh, thought Justin had answered or no. Uh, there's a couple that they were asking about. Is there a, uh, a deadline for the application? Yes, I, I answered that one. The, the um, answer is um, our last orientation is September 18th. So we'll need you to definitely get your application done by then because then we close our enrollment period. Okay. And then there was one other question. I don't know if it was answered. Uh, where can they find Anything the else? orientation uh, uh, schedule? Yes, either on our webpage or you can email us and say that you're interested and I will send you a link to all the registration links for all the app, the orientations that are going to take place for the fall semester. Okay. All right. Now there was right. another question Those about should uh, they put the number of programs that they're also joining in the application? Do yes, they need please. to reveal that? Yes, please. Okay. And then Anna just asked, can you join several more? Pro absolutely, Anna, join as many programs as you like. Just know that you have requirements to fulfill in, in some of those programs. And there is some overlap, too. Yes. And I will go over what that means when you go into orientation and you guys can actually ask questions. It's a Zoom meeting, so we can have more of a discussion. It won't be one-sided like this. And so you can ask all the questions that you need at orientation. And that looks like it that I saw. I think that's it. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to stop recording and stop broadcasting. All right. Thanks for coming, everybody. Bye, everybody. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. Still showing I'm broadcasting. <laughs>